Hey, Jackie K here, and welcome to my new side let's play. You're probably wondering what it is as much as I am getting forward to starting it. So, before I butcher the English language anymore, I swear I am an English-speaking person, born in an English-speaking country. I have no idea why I s Let's just begin! So, it's a game made by Rare, it's on the Game Boy Advance, and obviously it has to do with Nintendo. What could this be? 1994 and 2003 copyright? That's right, it's Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Advance. This game was actually made, remade, I should say, for the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance. It was originally on the Super NES, and, but we're playing this version because I already own it, and I don't have to rebuy it. Plus, it allows us to do a very special thing. What special thing is that? Let's start the game and find out. Hmm, I wonder what this bottom option is. That's right, this Let's Play is no ordinary playthrough of a port of a far superior SNES game. We are playing the hero mode of it. You're probably wondering what hero mode is. Well, first of all, you can only unlock it by 90%ing the game. You increase your percentage by collecting the con letters in each world and finding the secrets. But I already did that, because I've always wanted to play a game with Diddy wearing yellow. So let's get right into it. What are we going to call our fine hero? Diddy, of course. But three letters only fit, because I think you're supposed to do first initial, middle, whatever. Oh, so you're ready to face the Kremlin hordes, you do. You'll need more than that flashy new costume to get you through this time. DK is taking a well-earned rest after cleaning up your mess. Don't expect any help from me either. I'm far too old to take along with you. I wish you luck. You'll need it! Oh, and next time you swap costumes, have a look in the mirror before leaving the shop. You look like a banana bird! Ooh, burn. Yeah, Cranky burns like always. So let's get into our first level. Now, there's a few things I want to explain about this special version of our playthrough. We have to pay a little price for being Diddy Kong in an awesome yellow costume. First of all, Cranky wasn't kidding when, there w when he said the DK is not around. There are no DK barrels in this game, so you cannot be anyone other than Diddy. See, this would normally be a DK barrel, a normal play, but it's just a plain old barrel because we're playing as Hero Diddy. This leads to one major problem. One character equals one hit in this game. So if you had DK with you, if you got hit, you would just swap to the other con. But since there's no other con to swap to... Hello, Beaver! You're dead the moment you get hit by something. And to make this challenge even more fun for you and me, there are no checkpoints in this game. In normal playthrough, you can find barrels that have stars on them. Those will be checkpoints. And if you die, you restart the checkpoint instead of the beginning of the level. But since there's no checkpoint, every time I die, no matter how far into the game I am, I shall start at the beginning of the level. And I should really stop killing myself. <laughs> I'm gonna need every life I can get. <laughs> so, speaking of life that we can get, let us claim a special life, because we're gonna need them all. And let's check out our banana horde. Oh no, they're all gone again. 
Well, let's just get right into it. <laughs> I eventually started a practice run through this. And there are some moments that I am sure you're gonna love. And in just the first three levels of the game. Yeah, this is pretty early on, but you can press B to attack, hold it down to run, go up to a barrel and you'll pick it up. Now these metal barrels are actually pretty special. They can actually bounce on walls, and if you do it right, you can ride on them! Hooray! Wee! Now, as you can see, I am not going for a 100% run. But I will try to get every letter I can. So I'm gonna go back for that K. <laughs> yeah, no DK barrels, in case I didn't think you got that for your heads yet. Now, here is an animal bunny, because I forgot to explain. Various levels have animals that you can ride to help. And boy, will they help in this playthrough. Oh no, I didn't mean to get off here. Like I said, they'll really help us out, because if you get hit while riding an animal, you won't die. You will just... The animal will just run off. And if you jump back on it while it's running, you get back on. Very helpful when one hit will kill you in most instances in this game. Here I'll run for anyone. So yeah, these are the bonuses. They kind of put more emphasis on the fact they're bonuses in this GBA port. Uh, in other games, they normally just like, Cool, a secret, let's go through! But in this game, they actually keep track of how many go through. And that is actually the first level! Wow, we got through really fast. Now, normally with this playthrough, I'm going to be doing just one level of video. And that will allow me to upload almost every day. Current plan is uploading these Monday through Fridays weekly. But if, like in this case, we have less than, if we're not even 10 minutes in the video, I guess I'll do in second level. Oh my god, armadillo! Now if you're DK, you can actually jump on those armadillos and instant KO them, or kill them. But in this game, you have to jump on them and then cartwheel them, and it's no fun. It's easier just to avoid them with Diddy. And since this is a hero playthrough, guess what, I'll be saying a lot in this let's play. Since this is a hero playthrough, we are not... We are pretty screwed with things like that. There's other things that DK is a lot better at dealing with that we will have to deal with on our own since we have no DK, since this is a Diddy-only playthrough. Joy. But... Oh, perfect moment to show off TNT barrels. Hit them, they, they blow up. Hooray! Oh my god, I'm still... But, at least with the lack of DK barrels, it actually makes using these regular barrels a lot better. If I make any sense, which I probably am not. Cool! I know what to do with this! Jump up on a tree, wait for armadillo to go down, and profit! Oh, I've already collected a couple of these, and I should probably explain what they do. These are animal buddy tokens. Did I really just die on the second level of the game? Well, at least you guys get to see now what I'm talking about by no checkpoints have to start at the beginning if you make one, even one, tiny, itsy, bitsy fail. And oh my god, oh my god, get away from me, get away from me. <laughs> get away from me, let me just blow your... Okay, bye, I'll blow you up. Because I don't know where your buddy went. As we're going through the levels again, oh yeah, ammo buddy tokens. I am almost gonna... I am gonna dread these. Which is a bit of irony. They are golden plated versions of your animal friends, except you just collect them. But if you collect three of them, you get to play a bonus mini game with your friends that allow you to stack up on a whole ton of lives. Which, in a sense, is really good for this let's play because I'm gonna be dying a lot. But in the other sense, they take you to the back of the level! Which is, makes these let's plays even more annoying because the tokens reset 
and you collect them again, and you have to do the bonus mini game, and then you get start to the back of the level! And oh boy, we already have two Animal Buddy tokens in less than two levels. The fun is just so good and sure. And oh, secret. Stop the barrel! Okay, do you see the barrel? Do you see the barrel? It's there. Yes! Extra life. Thank goodness. I don't think I'll really be getting too many game overs in this game. From my past run, I had no trouble getting lies. And unlike the original Donkey Kong Country, the one on the SNES, this version actually saves your lives. Not only is the save feature a whole lot better in this game, but you actually can iron until Oh, I guess you can kill him by jumping on him twice. It's just way too hard with Diddy. But anyways, like I was saying, the save feature is greatly improved, and it allows you to keep your lives. In a normal game, you get reset back to five lives every time. And that marks it for this video. Before we go, I guess I can show off the save feature. You press pause, and you can save. Which is a huge improvement over the last games. Because in those games we have to... go. We can't save until we get to Candy's place, who we'll meet later in the game. And once we do, we can save. But with this, we can save any time we want, which is helpful for an LP like me. So next time, we shall meet up with Cranky and go through this cave. See you guys then!